Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Martina and this is Vintage Bliss. Those of you who have seen my short video about the making of this journal know that I had promised a flip through and this is it. We are going to go into all the details of this, as I call her, handful of joy. And it is like this. I'm, I'm so pleased with the outcome and I love so many things about it. I hope you do as well. It is available in my Etsy shop. Have a look or have a look. I'm, I also have different and other journals there. Um, if you want, just go ahead. But now let's go into the details of this wonderful little but still grown-up journal. First, the dimensions. As I said, it's a tiny one. It measures 16 centimeters times 11.5 and it has, I think, a five, five uh, centimeter spine. Um, in inches, this means uh, six and a quarter times four and a half and times two and a quarter spine. It's grown up. It's tiny, but it's grown up. It has more than 148 pages and I have only counted the bigger ones. It is full of surprises, pleasurable things you will see. But let's start. It is made from two old books uh, where I have used the cover and I have also wrapped them with a doily. And I have attached this pretty closure, which is not vintage, but I love it because it's so rich, it's so royal, it, it adds to the yeah, to the bliss of this journal. I have also used vintage buttons, which I have bought many years ago, and now they found their um, purpose, and they are here to further enhance the beauty of this journal. Let's open it. The closure, um, yeah, well, I was experimenting a bit with the closure because, um, yeah, it was not that easy, and finally I decided to use push buttons over here, so they are relatively invisible. And I also have attached this uh, kind of a crochet trim, which you could use to add it around the, the button, but um, you don't need it, but I still keep it there. So it opens like this. Um, and then you see, you have, the f you have the first view into the journal. As I said, the journal consists of two old books and those Two books of which this one is a smaller one of course this is the one which sits on top and this is let's say the main book both of them are really old they date back to the end of the 19th century and um, they were in relatively good shape this one on top not that much but I, I think it's it's okay because it's an old book it has probably seen many things and it should show it like we all do and um, the other one is was in relatively good shape, so there was not so much for me to to enhance other than adding these two um, decorative corners, which are also a kind of a protective uh, means because, of course, usually the corners of the book have suffered a little bit. The uh, backside of uh, the journal was not that pretty because it was simply wet, simply wet. It was wet and it was worn and it did not really look nice. So what I found in my stash was this really pretty Indian um, fabric, which perfectly, perfectly matches the color of the original cover of the bigger book. And also the ornaments are not the same, but they do match. So I have covered the backside with uh, this pretty fabric and I have also attached uh, the decorative corners, not so much as a protective measurement rather than uh, a beautification. So now let's go into it. The, the smaller book has been attached with a bow, with a trim, which has been closed with a bow. And you can open it like this. And then you have a view into a kind of a mansion. Doesn't it look nice? And I think the whole style of this book is, um, yeah, a little bit aristocratic, not too much, also a little bit shabby chic, British. Yeah, it's it's a mixture, but I think 
to my to my taste it's it's a good mixture so let's go into the smaller book first i have used a flip up here and here you see a pretty chandelier but what you also see is or maybe you don't but i show you here there is a hidden pocket and in this hidden pocket there is a journaling card which is a kind of an um, yeah old-fashioned picture of a cat i thought it matches the overall theme very nicely so we'll go in the next flip out i have um, used some of my decoupage technique envelopes um, because it has this vintage um, writing vintage oops vintage <laughs> vintage writing over there and i also like the color scheme so this forms another flip out and another pocket and inside there's another smaller journaling card and behind this flip out i have attached the belly band and in this belly band there is some information about the smaller book namely the first pages you can see this pretty cover of the, the book of the inside of the book and uh, then it says the leader von Mirza Schaffen I don't know exactly what it is um, but it says Berlin 1880 so this is how old this book is and I thought the future owner of this book would love to have this information and uh, the the back of this smaller book or here the the back side I have used this uh, pretty Indian fabric which is a kind of a tapestry and I have attached it here I have refrained from adding this applique which you have seen in my video because it would have made it too bulky so that's a smaller one close it let's go into the book as such I have closed it with another trim from red I don't know what the material is but it's red and it has some um, some gold uh, edges and I love it and you can when you open it you see it's it's a big one it's it's a big one it has a lot of things and we will see so the inside cover I have decorated with a belly band which comes from uh, Graftelier. No, that's wrong. From the Graphics Ferry. And here I have added some Stemperia paper. And this is the postcard, which I have attached here behind the belly band. On the next page, what I have done is I have used this inside paper from this bigger book, the old inside paper, because it's really pretty. And I have attached some decoration which I made it looks it looks vintage it's not it's just coffee dyed paper which I have stamped I have attached the picture of a vintage lady I have attached some tulle and some applique it looks quite vintage I guess and therefore I kept it here I have attached it with a paper clip on the back side I have formed a pocket from the old book page and in this pocket, and I have used the graphic from this old book, in this um, book, in this pocket, I have attached also information about the bigger book. And it says the title, Von allen Zweigen, hmm, how to translate, From All Branches. Uh, don't ask me why, but that's the name. And it says Berlin 1891. So that's also for the future owner to have some kind of information. In this book, I have used a lot of different material and I have used also wallpaper because I love to use to work with wallpaper. There are so many pretty designs and I have used here some wallpaper as well in this teal blue with this really pretty trim or uh, lace and I have attached another lace on the edge. Of course, there is lace in this journal because I have to have lace there, that's for sure. And the back side also is some wallpaper. I love it because of this blue. I love it because of the, the picture of the, this, this floral motif. Here we come, we start with a 
pocket from um, attached on Ecodite paper. Again, I love this because it nicely matches here. And the, the pocket has been formed from lace and there are two journaling cards inside or tags. I'm stamping here. There's a pocket from vellum, also with some nice paper. This is one of the first pages where I have used some uh, pictures of home decor. Because, as I said, it's this kind of a British, English, aristocratic style, which I like to convey with this journal. And therefore, I have used also some home decor elements, you will see. And this is the first one. I also couldn't resist to use some special paper and this is really special paper because it comes from Nepal. Uh, I didn't buy it there because I haven't been there but I bought it in a shop and it's so nice. It's made from different, I don't know, um, plants or so and the colors are gorgeous. On the next page again I have used some um, paper from the, from the bigger book, a nice drawing. And it shows apparently a bride, which has been, which is currently being um, beautified for the wedding. Here I did some stamping or stenciling, some special paper. There are, as usual, there are some empty pages in this journal because the future owner can make his own things with it, whatever she or he want to do. Some old um, book paper. Some stamping here, a lot of coffee dyed paper, some echo dyed paper as well, and also some paper where I have done some further decoration. This is um, a, a journaling card, as you can see, and this is a double, double pocket, um, but I have decided to use this belly band to attach this uh, tag because then you can really see it in its complete beauty. This stems from a, a fashion journal. Um, which is old as well, and this is a copy which I have coffee dyed to even give it a more vintage look. Again, another nice journaling card. Peacock, the old book page. You see um, some, some nice uh, cotton fabric or cotton trim. Here I have used some pretty paper to cover the page, and I have made a double pocket or a pocket and a belly band. And this is um, a picture from or a, a motif from Alphonse Mucha. Those of you who have followed up with some of my other journals do know that I, I'm a big fan of Alphonse Mucha. I really love his drawings or paintings really very much. So again, this pretty paper and again, this paper from Nepal. Home decor, as I said, and it has been formed into a pocket and in this pocket there is the picture of a bird or the journaling card which forms a bird. I put it back later because I only have one hand. <laughs> and this is another um, yeah, colorful page because, you know, whenever you do something in, in a vintage style, there is a lot of temptation to stay in these muted tones, in this brown, beige, off-white which I love, but not, not only. <laughs> so I wanted to give some bliss and some color and some joy and vibrance to it. And therefore I have used throughout this journal also some more colorful pages, as you will see. And this is one of those. And there are three tags in there in different colors. This one I have um, further um, colored with some acrylic paint in order to give it this purple shimmer. Again, this uh, Ecodite paper. And this is the end, not yet, not quite, but almost the end of the first signature. Because what you see here, as I said, this stems from the old book. And apparently this was in, um, in one, on, on, I think this was on the f one of the first pages. And apparently this is the name of a person who once owned the book. So I kept it in there. And it also has a number, number three or oh, one, not, I can't really read it. Okay, so, and here because I had glued it together, I have added this really pretty washi tape, which nicely matches the color scheme of the decorative page of the second signature.
And the second signature, of course, has been also um, decorated with some lace and some ruffle. And this ruffle, for those of you who have seen the making of, this ruffle is the same fabric like I have used for attaching the signatures to this journal. So it really forms some nice ruffle over here. Again, a lace belly band, a belly band a pocket with three journaling cards in various sizes. And again, this pretty paper. I couldn't resist. It's so nice and I love the reds. I love this so much. And on the back side, I have attached um, some of the po one poem of this smaller book. And I read it in German, if I can read it, because it's so small. It's unbelievable how good of an eyesight the people at this era must have had. Because it's, it's very difficult to read. But I try in German and then I give you a, a translation. It says, Wer glücklich ist, der bringt das Glück und nimmt es nicht im Leben. Es kommt von ihm und kehrt zurück zu ihm, der es, der es gegeben. And the meaning is, Those people who are happy, they give luck, they give happiness to others. And because they do, it comes back to them as well. I think this is such a wonderful uh, poem and such a wonderful thing to, to remember. Give, give happiness and you get it back. Okay, on the opposite side, what you see here is one of the pages which I have self-created. It's gesso, it's acrylic paint, it's some, some gold and it's some, some embossing, so it's... It has a nice haptic and it has a nice touch. And I think also a nice motif. <laughs> so some pictures. Here I have also used some um, wallpaper. I love it. I love the red. And I have formed another flip out. There are several flip outs in there. And here this is one of my self-created um, tags. And this is not embossed this is used with uh, this is done with different paintings with different uh, stamping and and gold um, acrylic paint so it's a, it's a multi multi process approach which i have applied here i put it back later as well and i love the the back side i love the color scheme it's perfect i think and it also very nice to the opposite side, where again I have used some vibrant colors. Um, I have used some piece of a, of a sari, because I love to use sari <laughs> pieces. <laughs> and uh, it has this nice border, these nice um, yeah se sequels. And here also I have attached and sewn on this uh, small pocket a little bit of sari silk. So when you flip it up, Then there is a journaling card and there is another more vibrant journaling card behind it. Some lace on the, on the edge. This is um, just pretty paper in blues. And I love the blues because they are so well in tune with this um, trim over here. And when you flip this page, and this page is also embossed by me. And when you flip this page, then you see there is um, a die cut from a butterfly. And these colors are also perfect, I think. Very nice. Again, this is uh, a poem from the bigger book, which I'm not going to read because it's too long. And But I love it because it has this nice uh, decoration here. And because it's the, the page is quite brittle, I have further secured it by attaching some washi tape. This is also paper which I have created by um, coffee dyeing first and then applying some color pigments and watering it again and then they melt into each other and it gives this nice shimmer it gives this nice yeah it's it's in between shabby and precious I guess it, it's this kind of a mixture which I love so much and here's some lace see the back side again some Indian paper in this Bright yellow, again, vibrant colors need to be there. A nice um, belly band. And in this belly band, there is behind this belly band, this is also nice cardstock. And here I have attached a journaling card and also made a little pocket where I can put this little journaling card. 
behind. Now we are at the center of the sig second signature and what I did here is I have created a kind of a longer belly band which shows or which features some jewelry in the a picture of a jewelry in the center and I have made it into I have ad attached um, um, to longer journaling cards which probably show vintage wallpaper motifs. I love the color scheme as usual and therefore I had attached it here. Again this pretty paper, again my self-created paper. This is also from the old book as you can see and it has, has such a nice decoration. And of course you can write on it and you can write here and write there. <laughs> so there is place a space for writing as well. So this here is a flip up. You can flip it up like this. You have a belly band, you have a journaling card, you have another um, belly band on top of nice paper and this belly band is also wallpaper and this is a tag. So most of the tags and journaling cards I, I've sewn around on this one I did not because it was already quite full. This journal is relatively full and it's relatively heavy. <laughs> so. I will make it quicker now. So again, this is my paper. This is the pretty pa paper I showed you before. And this is another um, pocket with some lace and some self-created journaling card. This is the one where I have showed, where I've made a tutorial on. Okay. And here what you see is again, this really pretty wallpaper. And I have attached this, um, trim or this lace in, in to top and unfortunately that's the that's the rest there is nothing left of this really pretty lace on the back side um, I have made a side pocket and a small journaling card is inside this is uh, embossed cardstock which I have further um, decorated with some gold waxing, some gilding wax. Again, this is one of the papers which I created, as I told you before. And you can see the shimmer, I hope, lace. This is a paper ruffle, which I have made from vintage books. And behind it, and I put it down now because it's getting too heavy. Behind it, there is another flip out uh, construction because there are several flip outs. So this first one goes up. And inside there is a journaling card in nice colors which match here and match there. And behind it there's also a nice paper. Here you have a big bird and also some pretty journaling card inside. And what you have here is something to flip out and you can use it for writing. And it says this book belongs to, but it's not only to flip it out, it's also a little pocket. And in this little pocket there is a tiny journaling card I tag. So, oops, this is it. And here there's a motive from Alphonse Mucha. This sunshine yellow Indian paper. And this is, as I said, home decor. And this is from a book from uh, Laura Ashley. Laura Ashley is a um, British... I think a British uh, designer and she made very nice home decor and also uh, fashion things. I don't know whether still active, I have no clue, but this is one of her books and it's it's really nice. I love the colors and I have used, turned it into a pocket and in this pocket I have attached a piece of paper which has a nice decor as well. And on the back side, this is also from one of her books and it shows, it's difficult to take it, it shows the scenery of a, I would say, a British aristocratic living room. I love it. And there's also a tag. <laughs> so now this is another flip out and this also a pocket and here there's a tag and I have attached this smaller tag I glued it on 
and it uh, shows some blue valleys, I guess. It perfectly matches the... Ah, let's see. Matches the picture over here. And this is a waffle which I made from um, Satin. And on the back side, again, um, some home decor from Laura Ashley. And I love these cushions, cushions, cushions. They are so pretty. Here another pocket, double pocket for two tags with this very nice paper which uh, shows I think some tiles, do you say tiles? Some tiles, some I would say, um, how to say, Mar Moroccan, Marokkanische, American tiles. Okay, so some empty pages, again a little bit of home decor. So this was I think this was number three and now we are at number four and I have used a double decoration on this first um, page. I have used this really pretty um, yeah, trim and I have also attached uh, a ruffle which I made from some cotton material and it shows some, some roses so the color scheme is perfect. On the back side there's, this is... Um, a belly band from Sari Silk or from Sari Brocade. This is even silk brocade, so it's really precious. And behind it, there is a nice uh, journaling card. Here I have uh, used some um, motifs from another book, which is called The Art of Vogue. And The Art of Vogue features the, the magazine covers from, I don't know, from 1906 till 90, I don't know, 30 or something like this. So I have used this one here and I have on the back side, I have created a little pocket and in this pocket there is the picture or there's a card or some paper showing another mention. As I said, aristocratic, British, but still a little bit shabby as well. Another um, echo dyed paper, another pretty paper with some a satin ruffle, yellow, yeah, whatever it is, fabric, lace. Um, now we are at the pink page. The pink page uh, features three different cardstocks, all in pink. This is another uh, journaling card. It, it's also it's this book belongs to. And this is a little po um, envelope which I have created, and I have attached this. Tiny, tiny, oh, tiny, here we are, tiny flower from crochet, not done by me. I can crochet, but this is not done by me. And inside there's another tiny journaling card or piece of paper. It's not backed because, as I said, it was getting quite bulky already. So this sits here. No, it sits here. So this is decoupage. Here on, on this edge, what you see, I have to take it like this because otherwise what you see here is um, a collage from different sari silk in this uh, more brownish colors. Another trim. In the center spot I have attached a vintage uh, embroidered yeah, doily. Love it. it. It's just a nice thing have a look at. Here this is um, embossed cardstock which I have further colored by um, yeah, this, this uh, teal blue and green and also some gold wax. On this page what you see here is first of all a paper clip which I have created by making a collage from different material and adding a heart-shaped uh, wood wooden button to it and it's all backed with cotton and uh, I've used it just to keep this closed so this is another flip out and the first one is is a window flip out and of course it's made from an envelope <laughs> and here you see this is peacock I love peacock as you might know on the back side there's another pocket and there's another uh, tag here what you see here I want to show you a little bit closer is another vintage um, page from a book and this is not f from neither of the two books I have used here but from another one but it's so pretty and I wanted to have it here 
so it's there and on the back side another piece of paper from this book here from this bigger book and it's the um, the title of, of a chapter and it says Glück und Frohsinn and this means happiness and bliss so <laughs> isn't this great and here there's another journaling card in this heart-shaped pocket yeah so this pretty paper equidite paper and this is the the back side of this Art of Work magazine another piece from a um, title cover from an old title cover maybe we can see maybe we can read from when it is I cannot read it oh it say, says I think 1922 1922 okay but it's not original of course it's from a magazine so this is some as you can see some really strong red nice nice red colored um, trim and I have added some Indian trim on top and behind it this is a tag which I have created by making a collage from different fabrics um, laces some some gold fabric and I've sewn it on as you can see and on the back side there's another um, another pocket and this pocket I have made from some sari silk a sari border and behind it there's another tag which I have created and this is a different technique so it's basically embossing um, but before it's stamping, it's watercoloring, it's uh, watering and it's adding some gold flakes so this makes this nice one here and now we come to the last signature signature number five and there's another specialty you can see that this cover page of the fifth signature features a bookshelf which makes sense because I've used books to make this book <laughs> and um, I have used the spine of the bigger book and turned it into a paper clip and I have attached it here and you can see it perfectly perfectly matches in terms of shape size and color to this um, wallpaper isn't this pretty I have also added um, because just has no no other reason than just because I wanted to do it I have added another bow so you can close or open it like this I have used some vintage uh, music paper to back the inside and again what you see here is uh, this self-created paper where I explained you how I did it and it has again such a nice pattern I love it because you never know what comes out when you do it and it it's red and green and it has shimmer and it has the coffee and <laughs> even here I had I don't know by chance I had attached uh, some flower petals <laughs> okay so I have attached here um, a nice envelope which I have stenciled on the inside so I have not glued it so you can open it like this and behind it there's a journaling card featuring uh, Robin and I have also from another book, another old book, I have attached um, a poem. And um, so this book is really old. It's also 1880 or something like this. And you can see these stains, they are not done by me. They are done by age or by, by the years. And I have attached a poem from very, very famous poem from Johann Wolfgang Goethe. It's the Erlkönig. And I don't dare to translate so whoever gets it um, take a chance and google it and you can see what the Erlkönig says I don't know maybe even in English the title stays the same I don't know you can tell me if you do know that so some pretty paper here um, again this I couldn't resist this Tibetan paper um, trim <laughs> another flip out and this is just a flip out to show this pretty paper on this side you can see and behind it there's a belly band and a small journaling card or tag this is stamped on coffee dyed paper or on avocado dyed paper on both sides 
another home decor. You see this wonderful hydrangea because as you might know, some of you do, hydrangea is one of my favorite plants. Here in the middle, in the center, we have um, some vellum with featuring the moon and it says inside and coffee dyed paper. Another uh, part of this old book, of the bigger book and showing, showing a couple and apparently he says to her, do you still know, do you remember? Whatever it means. <laughs> there is another pocket which I've, in which I have attached another um, tag which I have created, also in a kind of a slightly different technique. So I have used some different material and have done embossing and acrylic paint on it. This is lace. Here, from time to time, when I get very playful, I love to do these flippy outs. And because in these flippy outs, usually, I use a longer page, I, fl I turn it, and inside it I attach a journaling card which I have further decorated with some, some ruffles. So it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a little bit girly, but I love it. And I love the red. It, it nicely matches the, the whole color scheme as well. So this is the last envelope behind the belly band. It's in really nice yellow, decorated with some lace. And inside there is another um, journaling card, which is from the Art Deco um, time. And it's not backed because, as I said, it was already getting quite bulky. So that's it. It stays here. The last tag <laughs> is also created by me and it, it's behind this really nice brocade belly band which you already have seen in one of the pages before. But be aware you have to take it out like this because this uh, decoration on the, on the bottom would otherwise get stuck. So you take it out like this and then you see I have collaged, I have sewn, I have added different fabrics, different laces and I've also done some Ah, yeah, old book paper as well. I also did some spraying apparently. So it's, and it's stamped on the back side. So everything you can imagine is there. So go back. Yeah, so, so that's it. <laughs> that was um, vintage bliss. And I think it is a bliss. It was a bliss to make it. It was a lot of work to make it, I have to say. A lot of thinking. And, um, I love the outcome, I have to say. And uh, I hope the future owner will appreciate it as well. And I wish you a very nice day. Thank you for staying. For those of you who stayed that long, thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe. Bye-bye. Um, See you soon with another journal at another topic. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.